Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, this is the here coming at you with another L7 Desk video. And in this video, I want to go over, um, you know, some information about what's going on. As many of you are invested in L7 debts, but you're not vested, you know, meaning that you're not paying attention, you're not joining Zoom meetings, you're not watching Zoom recordings, you're not doing your part to stay and know what's going on. Uh, but before I get to this video, I'd like to say that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not advise one how to invest or spend the money. All I do is show opportunities that I believe that be beneficial to anyone around the world. And also go over opportunities that I believe that will not be beneficial to anyone around the world. So with that said, let's get into this video. Now, it has been known for a long time that L7 debts is going to be in a pre-launch phase to raise the funds pretty much by growing, by, by growing the community through us. So that way they can publicly launch. Now they have been doing everything that they could and you know can in their side as well to bring more publicity and everything like that to L7 debts. So that way they can speed up this process of being able to go public and then be able to connect the primary market, which is the platform itself that you see right here on the screen, and to the secondary market, which is what you see in the um like there, there's changes uh you know so that'd be like gate.io which is listed on gate um no l7 that's is listed on gate.io it is listed on met c is listed on bit get it is listed on uh huobi slash htx um it's going to be li again listed on kucoin okx binance uh you know the list goes on so they're doing their part but the, you know, but there's people that's complaining. The ones that's that's not paying attention. Those are the ones that's complaining right now, because we're not able to withdraw. Well, right now the reason why we're not able to withdraw is because there is a data migration. This has been shared. Um, you know, so you come right here to my group as well, um, and you will see that I made an announcement yesterday, and you know, I I decided to wait long. Like I saw this announcement posted on the 18th, and you know, so I decided to post it inside of my group the very next day. After you know, just like I start to see more and more people inside the main L7 Dex community chat, just complaining about they can't, they can't withdraw, they can't withdraw, they can't withdraw. Well, when you posting this message right here, multiple times in the L7 Dex tell my, my primary Telegram chat, and you refuse to read the update, that is on you. It literally says, attention, 18th October 2023, L7 Debt's trading platform will launch this month, October 2023. So this few days, or these few days, there will be a data migration. Uh, this will affect the withdrawal activity for these few days. Now, of course, they don't speak perfect English or anything like that. Not faulting them on that, okay? But the message was shared that the withdrawal will be affected during these days during the data migration because they're going through the process right now linking the primary market to the secondary market so that way you don't see a big price discrepancy the price is going to drop from what you see on the exchanges that's something else that many of you don't know of because you don't attend any zoom meetings and you know so that's on you you know how can you invest your money to something and then you don't stay updated with the information especially here in my group you have no excuses at all not to be updated what's going on i literally get on zoom meetings and i record them and then i share them in the group like i just did with the zoom meeting from this morning i just shared this zoom meeting about going over the, the updates that's coming to l7 debts they got the you know debit card coming it's going to be partnered with union pay and mastercard uh they're going to be launching liquidity pools and so many other things that was announced in this this one zoom meeting that's over 20 minutes long in total all right so if you can't take the time out especially if you're in my group to look at zoom meeting uh, you know zoom recordings when you got time you know free time that is all your fault if you don't understand what's going on i shouldn't have to come in and respond to people you know that's asking questions about why withdrawals haven't been activated or anything like that all right that is on you to stay updated what's going on so you come back here yes the uh the announcement is not back here or anything like that but it was shared and there was a zoom meeting with the leadership that i was able to attend i recorded it and i shared that zoom meeting in my telegram community the founder jack shaw he even said that we're going to go through a migration because we're going to go ahead and launch the platform by you know the end of this month first uh, you know early now uh, november 
He even said that out of his own mouth earlier this month. And they've been saying this time and time and time again in many Zooms. Many of you have not paid attention. Or you have not even joined the Zoom to understand what's going on. So now, you know, you go back here. You got, you got the announcements. Yes, the announcement is not here. Okay, understand. Now, I agree. They probably put the announcement back here so people can know. But if the announcement is being shared multiple times in the official L7 Dex community chat, and you still ignore the message, that's only that's only your fault. Okay. So um, the price right now is showing that the price LSD is going on the platform right now, two dollars and pretty much thirty-seven cents. Yes, that's not the price that's going down for the exchanges. Um, let me see. Let me look at my phone real quick to tell you what the current price is as this data migration is happening. Because a lot of people have been complaining about this as well. Because the price was like around, you know, forty-one dollars for the longest time, you know, on the uh, the cryptocurrency exchanges. And then when the drop in price happened, you know, people weren't complaining about that as well. It's like you clearly don't know what's going on. It's like they've been saying that once the primary market and the secondary market link the price will drop they're expecting the price to drop anywhere between four to eight dollars something like that per token and then it's going to start building back up because you know the liquidity is going to be added there from the primary market as well it's not just going to be from the little bit of liquidity that's provided to the exchanges okay so when you get the full liquidity added from the the the, the main l7 that's community right along the exchanges yes is not going to have that supply and demand effect to where we're expecting the price to be high. The price will drop. And then you you know it's like instead of you complaining, you can go to these exchanges and you can buy more L7 debt tokens for for yourself at a cheaper price instead of complaining about it. Cuz you know my whole thing is I'm trying to collect as much as I can. Um you know also there was an issue um with my wife's account. Now, this is my account so when I go to community, you better see everything's going on my account. But I think I had a little slight issue as well, and it may have been fixed. That I saw that my community wars had dipped. Like, uh, let me go up here. Let me see. Yeah, so it had dipped almost three dollars. You know, from the nineteenth to the twentieth, or for me, it was the eighteenth and the nineteenth, because today is the twentieth for me. But it's already the twenty-first. You know, over there in um, Hong Kong and everything. So, here's the thing: the price of uh, 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 my my wife's account actually had lost access during this data migration to my account and everything I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, built. So she did not get paid all those community rewards for that one day, which was yesterday. I sent in a support ticket. Two L7 debts. Woke up this morning. I was back underneath her account. You know, and then I was able to share this information with my upline as well because she was aware of what was going on. And she was able to check her account and see that everything has been uh, is put back to normal. So the thing is, they're doing work. The migration is going to affect things. But you got to let the migration happen in order for us to get to where we want to be at. Because they got major plans. It's, this is not just some simple platform. They're going to be bringing in a lot of sophistication. They're going to be bringing in startup companies and everything like that. Like 500 startup companies. That's going to be buying the L7 Dex token to help increase the, uh, the demand for the token. Bring more publicity to it. That's going to help all of us. They got so many other things. That many of you are unaware of because you don't pay attention, you don't, you, you refuse to join Zoom meetings or watch any Zoom recordings. So for all of you out there that's griping and upset and all this other type of stuff, you don't blame yourself because you're not standing in no, you're not standing for them. Now I'm not saying that I know everything, I surely don't because I don't have at, direct access to the owners or the team. I just know what I know because I attend the Zoom meetings. And then when I'm attending the Zoom meetings, I'm recording them. Then I go back and watch the meeting again after after I recorded and shared it with my community on Facebook and Telegram. 
So, you know, if you want to join my Telegram group so you can stay in the know as well, hey, feel free. I don't care if you're in my downline or not. I just want to be, be able to make sure that everyone is staying informed of what's going on L7 Deaths. As I believe that this is going to be one of the special projects that we are going to be a part of. This is our Bitcoin redemption, you can say. How many of us, if that's in L7 Deaths, was able to take advantage of Bitcoin and Ethereum when they was very, very cheap? There's not that many of us. Angel investors, and you know, some of the probably the top leaders, they was able to take advantage of that and they was able to position themselves to be financially free to this day because they saw the vision of Bitcoin at an early stage. Like, I, we had many opportunities to do the same thing that they did, but we didn't have that same vision, you know. So now, uh, many of you are panicking right now because you can't withdraw or anything like that and not understanding that there's a data migration happening right now. How can they allow you to withdraw if they're linking the primary market to the secondary market and they're bringing the liquidity, they're connecting the liquidity between both markets together as well. They got to have a pause in order for that to happen because if you still allow people to make transactions and everything like that, the liquidity is not going to add up and it's going to be constantly, they have to come back into the system and constantly do more and more work to make sure that they're doing the right changes, the updates to be able to connect the two markets together. Let them do what they need to do. And then once they're finished, you'll be able to continue withdrawing. All right. And they're trying to make this thing sustainable. That's the reason why when you come right here to the announcements, uh, let me sign back in. They got the, the, the mining stars program. The mining stars program is going to is doing its part to make sure that the platform stays sustainable for the passive um, earners as well. So that's the reason why you get more and more funds added to the 360 day automatically stake. You come to the staking screen, 30% of your earnings daily is going over here to the auto 360 stake because they want you to uh, also uh, you know, collect as much LSD as possible while making sure that the liquidity pool or the liquidity, the, the volume, whatever you want to call it, TVL is not drained. So 30% is all make it being staked to the 360 and then the other 70% is being accessible for us to withdraw at any moment. Right now, yes, we can't withdraw. But that's only for a few days, like they said. So let's give them a few days to do their work. Data migration for this type, this size, it's gonna take some time. Let them do what they need to do. These gone, these these found the founders and you know the team, this is not their first rodeo in the cryptocurrency space. They own over 300,000 Bitcoin miners. You know, that's not mining right now because it's not beneficial for them to mine right now due to the price of Bitcoin currently. But once Bitcoin goes on this bull run, they're going to start mining Bitcoin again with those 300,000 plus Bitcoin miners. They created their own uh, exchange, cryptocurrency exchange, and they sold for billions of dollars before, um, you know, right around when uh, China was cracking down on cryptocurrency back in 2017, 2018. All right. I forgot the name of the cryptocurrency exchange. I heard it once and I forgot about it. Because, you know, it's just something that I never heard of and not familiar with and everything like that. So I forgot the name of the of the, uh, the, the exchange. But then when you when you look at uh, the fact that they, they got, they're also still business owners, real life business owners in Malaysia. You know, these guys are very successful what they're doing. They got a plan. They got a strategy. Just give them time to allow, to allow them to put everything into place. That's it, you know, so, you know, eventually once, um, you know, let's go right here to Google.com, you know, I'm just going to show you the picture here. See LSD price, coin price. And, you know, so we go right here to, let's go to coin market cap because they're on coin market cap, coin gecko. And, you know, right now the price of L7 debts is going for $26.50. People were panicking about this. Because you don't understand what is happening. The two markets are being merged together. The price is, is, is supposed to drop. You know, it, there, there's no such thing as, oh, you, you tell me one cryptocurrency that's legit that has started at such a high value and maintained that value. Now, I know people will talk about ICP or in a uh, computer protocol. That cryptocurrency, yeah, that one right there started at a very, very high price. But look where it's, where it's priced at now. 
Well, once everything settled, got situated, the price dropped. Right along everything else, of course, with the bear market and everything like that. But ICP was already dropping before this bear market was in full effect. Same thing is going to happen here with L7 debts, but they're expecting the price to be between four to eight dollars, something like that, or three to seven dollars. I, I forgot, but it's going to be single digits. Okay, so don't be surprised to see that. It's part of the plan. You know, and they 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 clearly been explaining that. I've shared that video as well about my upline, who's one of the top earners in L7 debts, talking about that. I shared that video. Many people in in my group still have not watched that that recording at all. Of him clearly explaining and breaking it down of the merger, <laughs> when it's when the two uh, platforms or markets merge, he clearly broke it down to where everyone's able to uh, to understand it. So, you know that right there is me want to give a uh, what's going on with L7 debts update or slash rant uh, because it's just frustrating when I go into the L7 debts community, uh, you know, primary chat. And you know you got people in here doing you know stupid things like this right here. Uh, you know although we had a Zoom meeting, how many of you inside of this community of 31,000 plus people attend that Zoom meeting? Almost none of you. When I was on the Zoom meeting, there was only like 73 people on the Zoom, and they shared the Zoom meeting right here in the official Telegram chat. But none of you attended it. Why not? Because you're too selfish. That's all it is. You know so. How many of you gonna watch recordings? Probably none. You know, they're sharing important information. <coughs> excuse me. You know, uh, about you know earning with gate.io L7 debts to earn more sell uh, L7 debts tokens. And then you come up here, people want to talk about oh the admin is running off with your money, and here they are posting the info the, the announcement multiple times in the community chat. Other people doing the same thing. This is not an admin that posted this. But there, there was you know admin sharing this announcement as well. <clears throat> it's another person sharing the announcement. And then people coming in here, but how come I can't change? Why is this change button not working? Why why is this why can't withdraw? Why is my withdrawal rejected? They share the announcement multiple times and you still are not understanding. Come on now. <clears throat> but anyways, that's all I have to say. If you like what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to share this video with other people. If you're interested in joining L7 Debt, I have my links down in the description of this video as well as in the comment section. I still believe you know, that you know, these guys are going to continue to do all that they can to make sure L7 Debt is around for the long term. Uh, because they don't need our money. <laughs> they are already filthy rich. You know, They just want to be able to help other people make more money and while also introducing a new uh, decentralized exchange to the market because they understand the numbers between uh, with decentralized exchanges. Decentralized exchanges are making billions of dollars per month of uh, you know uh, fees. So they want to give us the opportunity to jump in on opportunity early, so that way we can get as many L7 debt tokens as possible while earning at an early stage. And then once this thing goes into a bull run, we're already in full position to take advantage of the price of L7 debts. That has the potential to do the same thing like a Binance coin did during the last bull run. Imagine the price of L7 debt token get to a thousand dollars per token, and you own like five thousand. That's five million dollars, right? Now I'm not stay saying that you're gonna sell all five thousand of your tokens. I know I wouldn't, because I'm getting involved with the liquidity pools as well. <clears throat> but anyways, that's just me. This is my uh, my review of what's going on with L7 debts, so that way you can understand because. Obviously, a lot of you not getting the message. All right. So, now thanks to an end. I see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.